Skyler. What the hell did you say to Elliot? What are you talking about? You told him about the cancer. Um, well, we were talking and he kept pressing me and asking me about you and I didn't know what else to do. I just I told him. What did you tell him? He knew something was wrong with you, so I just told him that you were diagnosed. Well, you couldn't have just told him that I was fine? I mean, maybe you could have just said I was fine and, and this would be done. This would be over with. He kept pressing me and I just, I told him. It's done. I told him. What did he say to you? Why are you so upset? He offered me a goddamn job. That's amazing. <sighs> you don't seem happy. Oh, it's some fig leaf, you know, some way of saving face. So I could generously accept his charity, but when I turned it down, he flat out offered to pay for my treatment. Okay, and what did you say? What do you think I said? You said no. Why? Money has always been, been an issue for us. And I understand that, and I'll give you that much. And I know it's really hard for you to accept help. Maybe it was the way you were raised. Maybe, God, I don't know what it is, but it's okay. It's okay to accept help every now and then. Elliot is willing to pay for your treatment, and you need your treatment. Look, it's not that easy, especially when it comes with with Elliot. But right now, what I need and what I want is a choice. What the fuck does that mean? Look, my whole life, it feels like I never actually made any of my own choices. It just seems that I never had any say in any of it. And now this last one, cancer. All I have left is how I choose to approach it. Honey, I'm... I understand that. But I want you to make a good choice. I want you to make a good decision. One that is conscious of your daughter and your son and your wife. Of course, I mean, you know I want those things. But you've read the statistics, you've heard the doctors saying that one, two years of surviving, like it's all that matters. But what's the point? What's the point of surviving if I'm too tired to get out of bed? Or to go to work, enjoy a meal, or to make love? For what time I have left, I want to sleep in my own bed. I want to live in my own home. I don't want to choke down 20 pills every single day, lose my hair, and be too tired to do anything. And be so nauseous that I can't even move my head. What, are you you're going to clean up after me? Me. Just some dead man, artificially surviving, just marking time. Look, I can't do that. Look, that's my thought process, Skylar. I'm sorry. But I choose not to do it. <sighs>